Hello and welcome to week 59 of Cat Actively Cleans Himself. Uh, I'm Jeff of the J Daddy TV Manga Club and I'm joined today by William. Hey. Alyssa. Yep. Cece. Yo. Robert. Yep. And special guest joining us for the first time. No, he joins about once a month. Uh, Michael. <laughs> Hello. And yeah, your host as always. What's going on? What's good? What is crack a lacking? I had some crackers, but now we lacking. Okay, today we read Downfall <laughs> uh, by actually one of my favorite manga authors. Everything I read by this guy is so fucking depressing. I love it. And I am saving Goodnight Pun Pun for when I need it. But his name is Eno Asano. You like him that much, eh? <laughs> I can't pronounce his fucking names. Eno Asano. Asano. One more time, Rob. Inio Asano. My man. He also wrote Goodnight Pun Pun, A Girl on the Shore, and Sanin. And that's how that's pronounced. Also, when I was looking online, it's like people who like this author um, are recommended these mangas. And it was just like volume one to 10 of Blood on the Tracks. So, like, yeah, that, that website needs a bit of an overhaul. Well, I was like, oh, that's cool. I've read Blood on the Tracks. Oh, that's just like volume three. And I kept sliding through the recommendations. And no, it's just volume one to 10. Uh, you read we... his stuff or you read Blood in the Tracks. That's it. That's, that's all you get. <laughs> before we move any further, we should give a trigger warning. There is an eventual rape scene in this, which I forgot to warn the manga club of until I realized today. That being said, let's push on forward. Uh, let's let's start with Michael. Oh, also self-harm. And self-harm, yes. Well... Um, Michael, what do you think it's of this so manga? Can you give us a little bit of um, a synopsis here? Honestly, all I got for this manga was this guy was a miserable prick that seemed like he hated everything about being a mangaka, but yet felt like he had to do it to just be somebody else that he didn't want to be or somebody that everybody expected to be. He's just yeah. a miserable guy. <clears throat> it was He's his dream just... to be a manga, mangaka, like a manga artist, um, yeah. artist slash author. Uh, essentially, run a crew to produce, um, yeah, volumes of manga. Um, and he just seemed like to just continuously self sabotage himself. Oh yeah, for sure. Just yeah. ruin when you're everything miserable, you tend in to his self sabotage. Life. Yeah, uh, but yet he was trying to convince himself that he wasn't miserable, and everybody else around him was miserable. Yeah, yeah the only deep and mysterious thing about him, right off the hop, is he has a thing where he doesn't trust cat-eyed women, which yeah, feline. that is so not a thing when you're dealing yeah, you with find uh, that out at the very end. <laughs> yeah, when yeah. you're dealing with, um, I guess, producing manga, dealing with your marriage, managing a business. And then worried about cat eye women. Yeah. Um, so the whole deal is he falls into the world of writing and producing manga, but turns out in the industry, the whole point is to sell as many copies as possible to obviously have as much money come in. Uh, very much similar to the whole CD thing with musicians where they have to like make one popular song, push units, and then you know the artistry kind of dies within that. Uh, speaking of dying, his love for manga is dying. Uh, his marriage is falling apart, and he's constantly using prostitutes, or we should say sex workers. And uh, his cat's dying, which I think is the only thing that actually upsets him throughout all of this. Uh, and he's also kind of fucking off his uh, staff at his um, publishing studio. I don't call it club, fucking business. Um, anytime they ask for directions, he is so in his own little world. He's like, just draw me some backgrounds, get some shit ready. And then he's useless. He is no longer a leader. He has completely crumbled. Uh, that being said, let's go to Rob. My favorite guy. I try week by week to please. What'd you think of this one? <laughs> kind of like this one. Okay. It was <laughs> a rare victory. Yeah. <laughs> It we got him. <laughs> it was definitely a lot of fun to read. Like it was, I don't know, certainly a different change of pace from what we usually do. <clears throat> and it felt, I don't know, especially as the reading this to me felt like a bit more of a self-insert than a lot of other ones. And it really helps with the whole 
I guess really flushes out the character and seems a lot more honest than a lot of other manga. Oh, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, um, the thing I liked about it mostly uh, were the visuals. Uh, typically, I like goofy moments, uh, loving moments, very scenic moments. But this guy being bummed out, uh, being someone who has made it out of the big, deep depression hole myself, uh, I can relate to a lot of these panels. <laughs> so most of the ones I saved are going to be super, super duper depressing. But I should probably hit mine first. You know, get that shit out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Did you share your panels? Yeah. I shared seven or eight or so. Yeah, he put in the... Uh, oh, I missed yours. Show. One second. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's filibuster. Give me like two seconds here. I'll get it all. Um, the main guy's name, and I'm not going to try to pronounce it. We go to Robert. Robert, what's the main guy's name? How do you say it? Karu Fukasawa. Karu. Okay, and the main girl is Yui? Yep. Yeah. What's the wife's name? Girl, she's only in there for like three chapters. Did she stick out to you? I mean, yeah. other than the hand, no one's like. Oh. I think oh, so. I'm gonna do the thing. Or whatever the fuck that is. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I ran through all my notes pretty fucking quick. So, what y'all think of Blood on the Tracks? <laughs> I'm getting here. But anyway, the uh, <laughs> the wife's name was Nozomi. Machida. <clears throat> yeah, so the wife and the husband originally get married over a love for manga, or at least his passion. It was an, under, is it was an understanding of their careers, I think it was. Like they understood yeah. their parts of the job. They knew that they'd be busy. They didn't hate it. So by the they time their divorce part. hits, oh, fuck, I got to change my shirts. But by the time the divorce hits, he's like, what am I, a manga artist or your husband? And she's like, why can't you be both? And like whips a cell phone at his head. She gets the deck from her stereo in her car. And she's like, heads up. Psh, whips it at his head. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got my panels. There's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little kitty who will eventually have a tumor on her nose and die. Sucks. I hope my cat Call never dies. I hope I die before my cats die, you know? So they can eat you? <laughs> I wonder how long like a, a cat can survive off a dead person. <laughs> He's not feeding me, but I can eat his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is, I believe, chapter seven. Uh, she's telling her husband, this is kind of the, I guess, the, one of the final moments of the wife's appearance. But she's telling him, you know, I don't want to separate. Uh, and, and he's just like, well, then why'd you do all this shit to me? Very manipulative on his part. Uh, very controlling on his part. It's just a bunch of dog shit, if you understand uh abusive relationships um this wife is completely in the right speaking of why the wife is in the right this guy has a little sex worker on the side who he's starting to imagine a life with because they spend a little time on a little getaway vacation he sees another family and pictures himself as that family with her even though there's not supposed to be any feelings involved when you're with a sex worker I mean, ecstasy. But they all tell themselves. <clears throat> I think this is chapter two or three, pretty early on. Um, but yeah, just a uh, bummed out wreck, wearing a hoodie, you know, five o'clock shadow, ten of his wife. I can't take this. And his wife is just so emotionless. Like, really? Now you can't take this? Fuck this. And then just a cool establishing shot of the city there. Uh, this is after the incident with his wife. He just walks out and takes in the snow. And then there's a big time jump. Half a year later, my cat died. Its cancer passed through its body, and then he passed. Also, my divorce was finalized. And we were talking right before the manga club started why this was important. He is more torn about the death of his little cat than his fucking divorce being finalized. That's so much of a, I guess, depressed prick. Yeah, Mike put it perfectly. Depressed little prick this guy is. And by the end of it, he gets reminded of his love for creating manga in the first place. This fan, I believe, starts out by saying, you responded, me, responded to me on Twitter more than once. I am such a fan. You've got me through some dark times in my life. I was so sad when your initial series died and my heart exploded when your new series started. Thank you for doing what you do. And it just, his guard was down. It hit him hard. 
Um, and that's you, one of the. You translated that as a reigniting of his love for manga. Yes. The way I saw it was that it was seemed like it was left intentionally vague. And mm. I mean, I'm probably going to go into it in my panels, but. <laughs> yeah, I took it's... it the opposite way as well. I think it's intended to be the opposite way, but if I was in his shoes, that's how I'd take that. Mm-hmm. I took it that way, especially because um, she calls him a god. Yeah. And he was just it. talking about uh, previously while talking with the, um, the shop owners there. He's like, ah, this is just filler bullshit. Not stuff to make sales and kind of uh, playing up the fact that he just wrote it to appease people and not something that he was particularly proud of. And then he has this one big fan gushing over how inspired he was. And it's kind of like, oh, I'm a piece of shit writer here. And I'm just my heart's not in it. And yeah, that's what I. That's what I got. I got guilt out of it. Same reason. Because like, right oh, now, the shit. like right afterwards, he talks to his college girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I think it like cuts back to there, and then she's like really cutting deep into him, like right after mm-hmm. that happens. So I don't know if it was like an intentional sort of thing, or if it's to make you sort of initially think that he's thinking about like, oh yeah, I re-engage my love of manga, or whether or not he's going through the whole realization of he's a fraud yeah yeah anyway, hard hitting oh and this is just depressing as fuck um some of the pacing in these more quiet sliding door moments eh, actual door um really hit for me just for him to be like well staring at a door huh, here we go and opening that shit and these are the shots we get phenomenal really enjoyed it on the sex workers right mm. nope i think there was this is why. Oh no, it wasn't. No, that was the uh, chubby, chubby chick, the yeah. first one, mm-hmm. who dressed up like a schoolgirl, but obviously was not passing as a schoolgirl at all. If I may answer a couple questions, which scene stuck out the most in my head, um, outside of the obvious incident um, where he pictured himself in a happy relationship with that sex worker? To me, that symbolized that's something that he still wants and just will not have with his current wife. Uh, would I read anything else by this author? I have and enjoyed it. And like I said, I am still saving goodnight pun pun. Uh, my one fear is I'm going to like it so much. I'm going to buy it. And there's eight volumes and they're kind of pricey. Um, but knowing me, yeah, once I get into it, I'm going to be like, I got to buy this. And last question, any leftover questions? Not really. Uh, I, I think this was kind of done, you know, cut dry, whatever. Finito. Other than when, where, where was he getting these chicks? That'd be the only question, but that'd just be like nitpicking for questions. He was like looking on his phone. There's like a whole website he was on. Akihabara. Yeah, but like, you know, whole, like sex street down there. Yeah. Ooh, Is sex work legal in Japan? I think so. Oh, well, <clears throat> that answers that. Okay, I have no questions. We good. <laughs> Uh, I was going to do the spinning wheel, but I didn't set it up. I didn't get around to it being like compensated dating. It's just a love hotel. Is he just renting girlfriends? Prostitution or the exchange of sexual intercourse for money is criminalized in Japan, but other types of sex work are legal. Can I get a girl to clean my ear with a Q-tip while making deep eye contact with me? Ooh, that's risky. You bet you can. Oh, there's like uh, there's a Vice video of people experiencing all the legal shit you can do in Japan. Hmm. And one of them is getting your ears cleaned out by a cute girl with her cleavage out with a Q-tip while maintaining deep and meaningful eye contact. Although I don't know how meaningful it would be. There's a whole bar in Japan where it's like all the workers there are like past or current like porn stars or other types of sex workers. And you like buy drinks and you like... Uh, next up, let's go to Alyssa. Mm-hmm. Panels questions? Uh, panels first. Oh, actually, let's go to question first. What did you think of this manga? How did you feel about it? It was good. Uh, again, change of pace. Again, very depressing as shit. Usually complete 180 from the lighthearted stuff that we normally read. Uh, definitely being brought down to the rock bottom with this dude definitely holds your hand along the way and 
<clears throat> yeah, but I found I think the most interesting aspect about it is again, like you're with this depressed dude, you can tell he's a miserable asshole. It's written in a way you're sympathetic to him. I think for me, it was very much right until that last kind of point where he's like raping his wife there. And then you're like, nope, this person's a piece of shit. So Holy I God. think the pacing of it was interesting to bring you down with him and then kind of the switch and bait right at the end. Like, nah, this guy sucks. Do you think, is there any... Oh, God damn it. Where did my video turn off? I don't know. <laughs> Threw me off for a minute. What the hell? Okay, is it on? Oh, my God. I'm such a boomer. <laughs> there, God. <laughs> uh, are there any redeeming qualities about this guy? Apparently, he makes good manga. Right? People Cause... love him for it. People do love him for it. And don't even joke about that. Okay, hold on one sec. Yeah. He's brought people through dark times. And a tortured artist bit is kind of done and done. Because to what point you're all you're thinking about how much is this autobiographical? Because I think yeah, even at I've... one point they have the a throwback scene to when he was in college originally doing it. And I remember we Last week, when we first talked about this manga, we did some Googling on the dude, and he had, like, very bleach blonde hair. And then when he does a flashback scene uh, on the physical copy, he has blonde hair. I'm like, yeah, okay, so at what point as a reader are you thinking what's real, what's not? Mm -hmm. But it makes for interesting characters. (laughs) Definitely need to kind of keep deep diving and uh, makes you want to read more. Yeah. yeah, fucked up way. But yes, please explain your panels. You have the floor. Just this panel right here, coupled with this one up top here. But being in my late 30s now, knowing the sensation that comes from being accepted by others and the English of expectation. Oof. A hit. Yeah. That's poetic. Uh, mm. Mike, if you're not aware, your mic's muted. I know. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Avoiding any sort of background noise. Oh, it looked like you were talking. Uh, this is a throwback scene to the the girl that deeply impacted him back in college. See, I he think... was traumatized first. He's a victim, guys. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember where this part happens. Is it where she straight up calls him a monster? Um, I want to say chapter the last four? panel. The second Is that the second to last? Oh, hold on. It's hold on. right near the very end. Okay, I couldn't remember because there's like some weird spacing on some of these flashback scenes. No, I think this happens. There's another scene in the second last. I don't think this is the one though. Yeah, I thought there was like chapter super early on. It's the last chapter. It's like halfway through, I think. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, the physical copy did it this way, where they blew up that bottom panel into a two page. And then the <laughs> you are a monster is actually on an entirely separate page itself. And that says, you are a monster. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right before he does the book signing. Mm-hmm. Ah. It's like, girl, what you know about me? What you, what you know about me? Yeah, and I think from the, at least the scanlations that we read, this one happens, you said right after the uh, book signing, right? Right before. Just before, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right before and then right after, uh, she says, she like really cuts in and was like, you truly believe, or you're going to die alone someday, you truly believe that manga are the greatest people on the planet, even so, you'll never stop pushing forward and... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Mm-hmm. You'll never make anyone happy. Mm-hmm. Just like uh-huh. your father. This one, Aww. just because cat... <laughs> <laughs> what a good kid. It's like an alien. <laughs> a big torted head. Cats are just part aliens. Come here, my little alien. Or my big <laughs> alien. No. He's digging into the couch. Here, he farted. Uh, <laughs> I gotta play uh, that back later. See, that was caught on the recording. You stinky cat. I, I heard it. Like that, that little really bubble more. Yeah, if that really was him, I heard it. So mm-hmm. probably did. I'm going to boost that audio. Sorry, go ahead, Alyssa. Pretty scene up here. 
You can smell um, the cat fart. <laughs> I can not okay, smell sorry. the cat fart. Uh, most of the scenes with her are kind of like a breath of fresh air in terms of this guy's depression. I guess that's the point of her character. At least he's in his not eyes. being an asshole to her. Mm-hmm. Well, do you think he's interpreting it that way? Like he's projecting so much onto her with his like the shininess I, of his bullshit again, life. We're seeing his interpretation of this very true of this young woman so what's coming out in the manga is what we're seeing from his perspective so if she's a breath of fresh air then to as a reader then it's breath of fresh air for him at least again my interpretation uh on the physical copy it really comes out more i think a lot more of the details all in the um, like here even the backgrounds yeah, sometimes I mean, there's the a people guy that... like dummy thick in that panel, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's got junk in his front trunk. Well, it's just like really wide. He's lots of balls. Uh, no, um, <laughs> sometimes when people do scanlations, they literally put this to a scanner and just bust the spine, and it's up yeah. to a cleanup crew they call it to fix up the the little bends in the pages and stuff. And okay. sometimes they're not the best. <laughs> a big bend right there. <laughs> You think he's just memed? Like, yeah, give him a bulge. <laughs> uh, I thought this part up here was poetic too. Again, nothing significant. And uh, no need to read too deeply into it. My mouth is bored, so I'm just spouting nonsense. How you, how you interpret my words for yourself. It's like a movie without subtitles. Much more interesting when you try filling in the blanks with your imagination. Because at this point, um, he's paying for her time. So she's just filling the time with talking, talking about random stuff. Mm-hmm. And as an artist, he's reading way too into it. I found this one funny because that looks like penis. It's the only reason why we saved it. The hand the placement's the odd. <laughs> I was gonna save that panel too. I'm like, that's depressing. Because again, <laughs> it, he has such a beauty, a beautiful scenery, and he's like, no, just looking straight down. <laughs> but you're like, that looks like a wiener. <laughs> Usually, sometimes they put the arm out a little bit more. Hey, hey, just wiener. Out of it. You know how those bars Tracker. are there on his balcony? There's a jump. Yeah, for the high suicide rate in Japan. That is a very depressing panel. You're like, wiener. <laughs> I expect uh, that from one of us, not your list. <laughs> not to, yeah, not to pick on you. Okay, I didn't see the wiener on this panel, okay? But I see the wiener on this one. <laughs> Yeah, very true. We're all talking about this dude's balls. <laughs> one panel later. Excuse me, Alyssa. You're supposed no, to be no. better we, than we all so... of us. Mine's yeah, a exactly. more we don't obvious, expect okay? it from her. <laughs> from us, it's expected. Uh, about a year into it, making dick jokes, okay? <laughs> yeah, only took a year. Or what is it? <laughs> 59 weeks. Mm. Again, just the dialogue here was... Uh, really good, I thought. Quite, serving, quite the self-serving guys, aren't you? Leaving all talk to me. I imagine you having this carefree. Oh, I lost the thing. Careful guy, but in truth, totally dark. What sort of person are you really? You put yourself into this weird situation on purpose. Deep down, you're planning on mining up for new material. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and the little balloon of his reality is. <laughs> When did I tell you I'm a manga artist? <laughs> yeah, saving the reason why I saved this panel uh, as you, Jeff. Again, <laughs> the biggest change was that I couldn't see my cat when I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, it's so sad. <laughs> yeah, we lost a cat uh, late last year. That sucks. Uh, oh, just the dauntingness of having an empty something in front of you knowing you had to fill it the challenge of the blank page i think it was yeah this whole chapter there really highlighted how much of a of a monster this dude is super self-serving selfish and all sense of the word Mm -hmm. but again the press artist kind of a cliche theme to the dude yeah Best artists have some madness. But obviously the manga is the outlet for it. So mm-hmm. in some way, what's uh, 
what part of it is exaggerated, what part of it is not. Never know as a reader. Uh, so I gotta bug you with my three questions. Favorite moment? Um, no, any leftover questions that you have about oh, leftover this manga questions? that you want answered? Mm. Story-wise, no. Kind of want to learn more about the author, though. Author? Oh, for sure. Yeah, we we are definitely gonna be reading more by this guy. Um, speaking of which, would you read anything else by this author? Mm -hmm. I would. And last question, which scene stuck out the most to you? Mm. Yeah, I guess it's up with the, what's her real name, Yuri? Uh, Yui. Yui, yeah, the main trick that he's seeing. <clears throat> Fantastic, all right. What would you rate it? I don't think we had the rate question. I would do it like 7.5. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be pretty up there, but not the best that we have read, but really fucking good. Really throws me back into that pit. All right. Who has, out of the remaining four, the least amount? I have one. Michael, it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I, like, oh, I have yeah. many. I, th I realized earlier I forgot to send it, so I just sent it right now in the... Uh... <laughs> Okay, I, so I gotta stop putting Alyssa on the spot like this. <laughs> yeah, and you have two panels, but one of them was oh, a question. The other one, yeah, the other one was just to clarify something. Okay. That was Give it. me a couple of seconds. Here. Did you read this manga just in like a sitting today, or have you spent some time? Oh, I said it? it was just today. It was oh, just okay. today. I honestly, I completely forgot until this morning. I was like, oh shit, manga club, and uh, started reading it. It was good. I I liked it. Mm -hmm. but this was really the only thing that stood out for me at the end. A it's really pretty and the entire manga for me was just beautifully drawn there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with the art i would read this guy's stuff over and over again if all of his manga is kind of like this same art style yeah it's like dark gritty beauty oh yeah. but this one stood out for me just because like after going through divorce there's his cat his favorite prostitute just not talk to him anymore it just really seems like his life kind of went to shit and all of a sudden he starts drawing again and he just still the exact same asshole. Doesn't seem like he's like learned any lessons. Like telling the guys like you're gonna finish those twelve pages. Like not a probably you better. And I'm just <laughs> taking a look like this is the panel right after being called a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I was I was gonna mention that too. So oh. it just it fits perfectly well because in this panel after being called a monster just that middle one saying like no you're gonna finish those 12 pages not a probably you're going to and you better kind of thing so that one just stood out to me basically like with everything he's went through like kind of his character but other than that too this panel just the trees the way everything's it's everything's drawn out super detailed i really like it yeah you think he like the author himself or the artist himself was shouting out his uh staff being like, yeah, this exists in the manga world where other people do the backgrounds and some people just do the characters and how they look. Yeah. Look how beautiful it's... this page is, by the way. We are meta as fuck over here. Well, look over here. But um, yeah, that was really the only one that kind of stood out to me the most. Yeah. Or at least that stood out that has some sort of significance to me. Like the scene that stuck out the most, that one? Yeah, the scene. The, even the whole yeah, mainly just that middle panel. Cool, cool. The one that basically is him being an, a monster, like she said previously. You want to check other things out by this author? Yeah, no, I definitely will. I, because you were talking about that, whichever one, the pon pon. Like, Good night, pun pun. Or pun pun. Yeah, so I'm definitely, pun, pun. definitely going to check out some of his stuff. I click on his name to see what else he wrote. So I'm definitely going to, definitely going to give it a try. Just not girl on the show. Let's read that as a manga club. And do you have any leftover I... questions about this manga? No. To me, this is a pretty straightforward manga. They close it off really well. He just kind of had a miserable life. And it's just almost like a... He was always worried about... Or he kept saying he's worried about... He's in his late 30s. He's going to be pushing... Or 40s. Could be pushing 50 soon or something. I was worried about his 40s to 50s. And it just seems like at the end, he just kind of falls back to his usual shit. Just being a dick. 
So you think that one woman who heard him was more of a premonition than anything? The which one? Uh, the girl from his past who scarred him in college. He That's told bad. him, you're going to die alone. Yeah, I think, I think she called it pretty accurately. And I think all he really has is the girls that he pays to like listen to him or be, be the woman that he wants. Yeah, so for. shout out to the teacher in high school who said I wouldn't be shit. Spot on. Spot on. Okay. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and last question, Michael, can we see your t-shirt? I'll oh, see sure, you have to speak. Right. <laughs> oh, nice the way. Shout out to Jack Lee. Jack Lee. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. It's still just a really comfortable t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it has like a high thread count and doesn't shrink in the wash. Yeah, yeah, is that cotton? <laughs> <laughs> is that a polyester blend will is that wick sweat what i don't know fuck. <laughs> you should know anything about wicking clothes mr soccer dude uh all right so let me turn off speaker view let's hop on to cc's panels cc what'd you think of the manga yeah what i was saying and like like I get it. I didn't like it though. Was it for you? Cool. I didn't like it's hard for me to like something when I don't like any of the characters. That's fair. That's I fair. guess that's fair. Yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's <laughs> any same thing with the- <laughs> other than the cat. <laughs> I kinda like was the wife, but I just felt bad for her. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the wife. Uh actually she reminded me of uh what the fuck's her name? Skylar in Breaking mm. Bad. Mm. One of the most like shit on TV characters. I say mm, like she, I watched the show. <laughs> yeah, she gets uh, horrifically shit on when all she did was be the only one who was actually protecting her family throughout the whole series. But anyway, uh, Cece's panels, please explain. I saved this because this is Rob. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 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 every single every single manga Jeff. <laughs> yeah, as I was reading it too, I'm like, wow, okay. So this guy's kind of spot on. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it was a goddamn worthless shallow <laughs> manga. And if Jeff chooses again next week, I quit. <laughs> I even ca- I even called it when Rob started reading it in the Discord chat earlier. I'm like, you're probably gonna like this. It's depressing. I think oh, I right. think Jeff finally got one for you. <laughs> Robbie, read the newest uh, chapter of Die Dark. No. Uh there's a, I don't a like... spoiler, but there's a scene where one of the characters is just doing Oh, <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> okay, on. Uh, it's Cece's turn. We gotta give it the floor to Cece. Yeah. Oh, I just saved this because this one's Jeff now. <laughs> <laughs> I try my best with an- the 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 issue I have with anime is not that I have to read subs, is that I follow the show's pacing. And if, if the show is slow or it's dumb, whatever. But a manga you can just read quick <clears throat> or really take your time with it, you're kind of in the driver's seat, and I like that better than an anime. That being said, I am fucking obsessed with Demon Slayer these days. Holy shit, is it a good anime? Oh, yeah. How far are you? Oh, God. Episode 7? Okay, so you haven't hit the, the Spider Clan? No. Okay. That's like in episode 20. Is it already that far? Fuck. I thought it was... Yeah, the whole shit where he uh, split that rock was so fucking... Oh, I'm sorry. So you see his turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, this is my last one. I just thought it was funny that the print translator knows like... The Hunter manga, like what else yeah. manga would you think of? <laughs> Could be Naruto. Uh, big buck on 24. <laughs> <laughs> you seem bizarre. Or JoJo's bizarre, I should say. That's all my manga panels. Mm-hmm. All my manga panels were not about the manga. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, again, it was other of this person. <laughs> you didn't like it. You didn't like the characters, but you found funny moments regardless. That being said, let's hit you with the questions, the hard-hitting questions, the questions of truth. <clears throat> uh, which scene stuck out the most to you? Um, I think the scene where he's doing the signing. At first, I thought it was stupid, but then after listening to everyone talking here, I, I um, got more understanding for it. Um, would you read anything else by this author? Huh? Would you read anything else by this author? Uh, I read a bit of Goodnight Pun Pun, but I should get back to that. I want to read it in one go, if it's short enough. It's 104 uh, some of the chapters. Yeah. (laughs) 13 uh, volumes. 
Is that 13? Yeah, eight times two approximately. 147, 148 chapters, I think, is what yeah. the website is. 147 what is that chapters. called? Good night, pun pun. Uh, they're sold in one and threes at chapters right now, and there's, I think, six oh, I total. I could probably read half of that in one go and then another half in another go. Mm-hmm. I mean, it depends on how long, yeah, how long the chapters are. Like oh, no, sometimes I can, pages. like, wake up on a Saturday and be like, the next three hours are manga. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Oh fuck no! That's the what I did last time. Nothing to me. We fucking read is drawn on these papers. We read erased, and then after manga club, I opened volume three, and then by Tuesday, I was finished the series. I really liked erase. Oh, I've read like over hundred chapters in a night. Granted, yeah, that oh, was my whole night. I, I, I was to gonna like, say that's the worst. Though you can't sleep. You're like fuck it, whatever. No, what's, I know. what's another it's sixteen like, pages? <laughs> You hit like four in the morning and you're just like, well, no, I might as well keep going at this point. <laughs> yeah. What was that, tomorrow? Well, not going to work tomorrow, so fuck it. What was that, Cece? I started reading my hero like two years ago. I caught up with it so fast. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's all in one go. Yeah, when I, once I finally discovered a website that had all the Naruto chapters, I'm like, there's 200 chapters and just fucking a single sitting. Boom. My mind was blown. I'm like, the anime is nowhere near here. What do you mean there's a time skip? Oh, actually, I caught up the week um, Sasuke beat Naruto in that first fight at the Valley of the End. That's when I officially caught up with the manga. And then it was Kakashi Gate and then a fucking time skip, whatever. Okay. Who do we have left? Uh, Will and Robert. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Just kidding. Okay. Uh, between the two of them, who has the least... I think I have 11. It might be close then. I'd probably have somewhere on there. Well, Rob liked it, so let's save him for last. Will's up. All right. All right. Okay. Can't believe Rob liked it. Fuck, that took a lot. A lot of guessing. <laughs> I, I feel can like finally like stop people pleasing. Uh, Will, how'd you feel about this manga? So, I didn't enjoy it, but I don't think this manga is meant to be enjoyed. I really like it. But yeah, I mean, I, I really like this one um, when I because I read it last year. But yeah, it doesn't give you like good feels. Yeah, no, I enjoy that, though. I enjoy being able to relate mm-hmm. to shit, being thrown back into sh- thrown back into shit. Uh, the reason I actually picked it up at first was because it was a complete series. And if I can get like a one, two or three volume complete series thing, I will buy it. And then I saw the author's name. I'm like. It's not my boy. So I, I grabbed it and yeah. Yeah. Bought it home, read it that night, and I was like, fuck me. That hurt, but that was good. Uh. Anyways, your panels. Yeah. So slightly different translation here, but I say it for the same reason as CC. I read it, shallow and stupid if you ask me. It just reminds me of Rob. <laughs> well, one thing I've been I, I've I've noticed recently um going through it is while he's very good at drawing. I don't find any character's expressions ever change. He has the same subtle. face the whole way through. Her face the whole way through. Yui has the same face the whole way through. I'm going to defend this guy and say, look at every single video we have of the manga club and check all our expressions. <laughs> we good. <laughs> I don't say that, that but I think I like noticed. the whole... The whole tone of this manga was it was supposed to be kind of like muted and just everything yeah. sort of in like it's, gray. It's not, it's not a, it's not necessarily like a, a slight against it. It was just something mm-hmm. I noticed. Could you do you think this could like fit a twelve episode anime? You could probably no. do this in like three episodes. Maybe like a movie. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say yeah. like an hour and a half movie. Twelve <laughs> episodes would be too much. What's up, DC? Twelve episodes would make this like really bad and like yeah, <laughs> yeah it'd be so drawn out it yeah, might be like filler shots and nothing and, like, all those slow caps, moments you find in outside. beck yeah you see like the tumor growing on the cat <laughs> okay <laughs> Sorry. that just be like an entire episode <laughs> yeah. oh no <laughs> just oh yeah a big flashback for the second last episode where he's like first episode looking at his cat but we never saw the view of the cat yeah Look at my normal cat face. And by episode 11, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, it's just it's just, it's just, just in the intro. Or it's just a small scene of the cat, but every episode in the intro is just slowly, <laughs> slowly. It just slowly progresses his cancer. 
second last uh, episode stage yeah. four yeah i felt this one was just this one just really feels like depression just <clears throat> rainy day he's just desk is a sh- littered with shit all over the place that's probably just a bag of garbage there truthfully you're a bag of garbage <laughs> it's probably what it is like don't judge this man yeah it probably he's just is. lying on bed just like <laughs> no motivation I say this one because her face doesn't match what she's saying to me. Yeah, that's that's something I noticed too with a lot of her panels. I think that's also the other thing that confused <clears throat> me with everything that she was in. She has a panicked expression. It doesn't look panicked to me. She looks happy. That doesn't look panicked. <laughs> no. And excited. No, she's, <laughs> she's not like excited. Well, she's not We're like going to have to have a talk face. if that doesn't look panicked. There's Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck are you guys talking about? Are you she guys the like, sociopaths I hear about? <laughs> She, well, she has to be happy about it because this is her superior. She has to be like, ha ha ha. Yeah, That's what do you guys mean, just like, misinterpret women's signals? <laughs> well, it's because it's not like your average like, I'm sorry, I can't anime like eyes manga. shooting out of their skull. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tongue <laughs> flying out in the other direction. <laughs> a wooga, a wooga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Smash his head with mallet, re rolls yeah. tongue back in the mouth. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, <laughs> we here at the manga club do not condone Michael or Will's behavior. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. All I said was her expression doesn't match what she's saying. <laughs> yeah, and fuck you for it. <laughs> and I agreed with Will you because it, it doesn't. It's you son behavior. of a bitch. Someone's projecting. Hey, I now. tried to switch the panel. Start talking about <laughs> something else. We're projecting now. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I just like you this one because he's just—he's already like unmotivated. So he's like just going through his Twitter, and everyone's just talking shit about him. <laughs> just getting cyberbullied for days straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, time like, to relax. Yeah. <laughs> just turn off Get your computer, here, bro. Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> How do you even get cyberbullied? Like a nerd. Yeah, I, just, <laughs> I can only see so that bad. like someone who's already just down in the dumps and they're just reading all this shit. Fuck! Oh, I didn't even see that. Just die already. Holy shit! Yeah, I don't think yeah. that's in the English one. It might be. I mean, this is English, so. I, mean, the... I didn't see the die already in mine. Uh, do you remember what chapter that was? What? Oh. I do not. If you give me a quick sec, I can find out quickly. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to find it too. Because my. Oh, I think. Pretty I sure it. my pictures tell me like. This is chapter. Uh, yeah, no. Six. In the official, in the translation, it just says you suck and you can go to hell. Yeah. That's a good boy. <laughs> what the hell? Oh fucking Christ. <laughs> Hold on, that can't. That has to be like an addition thing. One sec. No, well, there's an earlier scene where he's at some market buying some bullshit and it has that oh, same face. How come no one saved this panel? Because it's a set kitty. <laughs> he's just checking up on him. Huh? That's a big separation too. <laughs> like, oh. Can you take me to the vet? <laughs> no, you're busy. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Ah, it's cool. Yeah, I really shouldn't it. be blowing cigarette smoke in my face, guy. <laughs> Those could give me cancer one day, right? <laughs> That's the reason why she took him. Took the cat. You, you know, keep like, breathing smoke into the cat's face. You're such an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> you know, my nose is very sensitive, right? It would be horrible if I get cancer on it. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, but I just say the same. It's my cat. Same same reason as Alyssa. I think everyone's had that point. You're just something you're gonna, you're gonna get done, but it's empty in front of you. And just the pressure of it. <clears throat> I got the opposite problem, and I crack a new can of beer. <clears throat> I say this one because I just really like this panel of the wife and him, and he looks happy. I think it's the only panel. Or thing <laughs> Dude, that's happy. a fucking sick coat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that color. Hell yeah. Look how he draws scarves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I just, okay. oh no, it was a, I like how, what he becomes, just the saying on the side, he didn't start drawing manga because he wanted to become this, but now that he is this, he started drawing again. And, and how do you like interpret a... that? He became what he hated when he started drawing. Because he said it's like how the old the old guard essentially is <laughs> ruining manga. They don't even realize it and stuff, but it's essentially what he was doing now that he's famous. Just needs to make his buck. Yeah. Hey, who do you think keeps the lights on around here? Yeah, this is just a great panel. You are a monster. You're a monster. I did say this. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. I made sure to write it so even idiots could cr would cry. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> I want to save that and like try to like twist something about like around, you know, Jeff recommending us to resell from Uncle. I just remember <laughs> I wanted to try to set up a joke specifically for that and I forgot. Damn it. Ha <laughs> ha, genius. Uncle. Idiot. And this is the panel I was referring to earlier before he meets the big fan. Mm-hmm. Who's literally crying at the new manga? It's like when Brian writes a passing fancy. One of the better Family Guy episodes. That's like the second time you reference that this month. <laughs> Which one? Fancy fast passing fancy? Yeah. I like that the context you uh no you not in the manga club, but just in real life. And uh, we were driving around, you made that reference. I was like, huh? But yeah, uh, he meets a fan that he like actually interacted with, and I noticed he was crying out first. Like, oh, maybe he's like turning it around. Like, oh shit, maybe like. And then, so that's why I saved it initially, and then I forgot. I think it, the next panel might be my last one. But yeah, no, nah, he's. It pretty much just confirms that now nah, he's just gonna keep being the same guy. Whenever I meet a girl with cat eyes, I can't help but being suspicious. <clears throat> so, Will, what point point in this manga stood out the most to you? Mm, I think it's the last chapter when, like, you get to see where he was beforehand. Because I felt like it at all really ties it all together. And that's what really stuck it to me. Would you read anything else by this author? Yes, and I already have. Which one? Girl on the Shore. You read that? Yep. Shit, son. Um, and are there any leftover questions about this manga? Mm, no. It's pretty self-contained story, so. If you could expand it by one more chapter at any point in this story, what part would you expand? I wouldn't mind seeing like maybe like a like a point five chapter from the wife's perspective. But, Good answer. Yeah. Last. Robert. Yeah. What did you think it's of this manga, son? Used. Oh, hold on. Can you stop sharing for one sec? Oh, wait. Like, it doesn't matter. Fuck. Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> no, uh, because Robert has a different source for his microphone when I put it on speaker view. Yeah. It, it just goes his microphone. It goes like Rob instead of like his webcam. But Rob, what did you think of this manga? I liked it. <laughs> it seems to be better than, than the majority of uh, what we read. Just, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I liked it. I don't know. I, I can talk about it more if there are some sort of yeah. pictures for me to talk along with. But, uh, <laughs> sure, let's do that. <laughs> All right. Let me just move this real quick. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This just sort of like seemed to me like the guy was complaining about having to write like complex stuff. This one like emotional stories. How dare they? I don't know. <laughs> what I read. We that, can't just have the same high school story every time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You'd think, but <laughs> you would think. You think, but if you want to have complex I... stuff, then just make a dowgen. Fuck it. I, got I have a different already. pronunciation of that word. Dojin? Uh, yeah, isn't dojin? Oh, dojinshi? Something yeah. like that. 
I say Dojin, but now Jeff's saying it. I don't think it's right now. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Sid Snap pronounce it once, and I'm like, oh, I'm pronouncing that wrong for years because I used to, I used to say Dojin. Hmm. I think it is like Dojinshi. Let's go to Google's sound <laughs> word. Yeah, as far as self-produced mangas go, uh, a lot of hentai falls under that category, which is why I know it. Name shouts works really good for say shit. Name shouts? Yeah. What do you mean? To how to pronounce like Japanese names or words and stuff like that. Yeah. You just shout it? No, no, no. You just type it in and then it'll give you the pronunciation okay. of it. I have never heard of this website. I googled it and the guy was like Dujinshi. Dujinshi. Yes, that's, that's how you say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D-O-U-J-I-N. Oh, yeah, that just seems like a strange way to throw something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like He's like gripping it by the touchpad, but picture where his thumb would be. He's, <laughs> yeah. got, he's got that thumb strength. This yeah. thumbless monster. <laughs> You think that's what she was referencing when she's calling him a monster? <laughs> you have no thumbs. <laughs> Your thumbs make you look like a freak. <laughs> You're a you, fucking... got, you got thumbs like Megan Fox. Get out of here. Wait, what? She has toe thumbs. She has Ninja Turtle thumbs, which is ironic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Google that later. <laughs> <laughs> does that oh, mean that her, get, does that really mean that, tonight, boys. that her toes have just like human thumbs but <laughs> like an ape anyways uh oh yeah this is just like since quarantine like every weekend for me <laughs> just yeah i just sort of sort of roamed oh, about no. like, <laughs> did my shit about. yeah i was in a rush <laughs> Oh, yeah, this definitely seems like it came from uh, Inio Asano, like kind of from the heart there. He's like, oh, no love, respect from like the originals. You're just trying to try to be different. But you're just doing the same thing as everybody else. I don't know. This is uh, Kendrick Lamar's control verse. (laughs) Fucking what? Kendrick Lamar um. <laughs> did a verse on a song called Control where he essentially said fuck you to every rapper in the industry and I think some 12 rappers responded with diss tracks because they all took it personally because that's how vague he made his statement saying if you do this fuck you you're ruining rap and then hmm. boom a tidal wave of diss tracks came back at him meanwhile the OG artists were like thank you Kendrick thank you for saying that so yeah the Inio Asano is basically Kendrick Lamar that's what I got out of it (laughs) he's the voice of a generation I don't know this just seemed like just like a strange (laughs) pacing in the middle of a fight oh shit that was a cat. Uh, yeah. That was a cat. <laughs> what? Have you never argued with someone in an abusive relationship? This is the exact pacing. Oh, Here no, is just... my heart and soul, you fucking prick. How's the cat? Mm-hmm. Banger. That's a perfectly encapsulated abusive great, relationship in a panel. <laughs> bah. Somehow I feel bad for not being in an abusive relationship. Weird how you twisted that one. <laughs> Weird how you fucking twisted that. <laughs> you goddamn you lipid fuck. <laughs> Do I have to talk to your wife and find out what's been going on behind the scenes? <laughs> I have questions. <laughs> what's this one? Oh yeah, that's also just a definite mood. I haven't read a good manga in quite a while. <laughs> it's it's just like compared to I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Is that Sonic? No idea. <laughs> it's like the smallest I, details. I was about to say, is that a Pokemon or something? All I see but, is Sonic now. Now I, <laughs> no, I think it's I like Sonic. I think it's like Jiminy Cricket holding like a like yeah. a branch. stick or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It looks like an ant holding a stick. <laughs> How'd you get Sonic? But anyhow, like Mega is already pretty creatively dead, from what I've seen. I'm sure there's like good stuff here and there, but. You just For the most part. It. And that's why we yeah. dig as a manga club. 
<laughs> oh yeah just him like because in an earlier panel he was like pigtails idol those are like the prostitutes that he was shopping around for yeah and it's like oh yeah lost you too i guess yeah, it's right <laughs> like a weird like been. yeah just like his whole sort of how he values things there's a word for it his train of thought his priorities that's it <laughs> ah. it's like oh i'll just doodle that on my <laughs> table i guess I just seem comfy. <laughs> that couch is tiny. Yeah, I was just thinking that. That's a maximum comfort. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but when I lie down on a couch, like my <laughs> shins are in the exact position, so you have to bend them slightly. Otherwise, you get like weird bird legs after a while. It's, it's hard to find a couch. Turn to the, like weird alien at the end of that movie. It was like legs go inverted and just like hops away. What movie? I don't oh, know. It's a, it's a I have no fucking on. idea what you're talking about. Oh, it's an old movie. His legs movie. go in reverse and he hops away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah fuck yeah, you for okay. saying that. I would just know what that is. <laughs> Hold on. I'll you sure you're not you. thinking All of right. like a, no. a slinky? I'm, I'm going to find this. Hold on a second. That was a 90s right. toy, Michael, designed to entertain people who had a buck. Anyways. So just this panel, I was like, could you stop assuming that I love manga just because I'm a mangaka? And just the guy's face with the glasses, like... <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're having this conversation, okay. <laughs> Dude, he's just like, like, write something, he is, God. He is divorcing his wife, who is an editor. Like, <laughs> just like extra sad on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes when I'm just having a shower, like, I just think of the... <laughs> Oh, Mega Freaking sucks, bro. Yeah, it's all about light novels. <laughs> this is Rob every day on that day of manga cast. Yeah, yeah. every Monday morning. <laughs> just son of a bitch. Two Why hours reading? before he starts, when he starts actually reading it. <laughs> Monk sucks. I think Mike, or Michael, you think Robert's in the shower with his phone in his Ziploc bag, just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what about a past him? <laughs> oh yeah this just came off as like <laughs> just a little bit extra sad you know being left on red and he's like uh, browsing oh, yeah. 4chan or something what is this <laughs> oh yeah just so he can get like even more cyber bullied <laughs> oh man she left me on red guess I'll see what twitter has to say oh fuck that was a bad <laughs> idea <laughs> Yeah, he puts himself in this situation. She said that. <laughs> oh, yeah. This dude's sitting in a goddamn salon chair. <laughs> right? I saw that, too. <laughs> yeah. I never noticed that. <laughs> he gets his hair cut. <clears throat> oh, this guy can fit in one, uh, one of Robert's early neck mangas. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't oh. haven't watched every single episode of the Manga Club, Robert used to have a thing where he would uh, check people's necks. We call it oh, the just, neck... just the ones that really stand out. But the neck check, and that that's <laughs> definitely a neck check. It, uh, do, it looks kind of alieny, but it's not like out there. Like it has like extra bones and stuff in it. <laughs> before we go too far, since we said alien, and before we segue too far, Alyssa, please pop up what I just sent oh, in the shit. chat. One second. It says what? So what I was referring to, and what Rob was saying. <laughs> what the fuck, Mike? I'm only waiting until Alyssa shares it. I can't open it. Taking a bit. That's so garbage, Mike. It's it's from some movie called Arrival from like the early 2000s. Late oh, is 90s. this the reverse kneecap thing? Yeah, that <laughs> where black kid kind of looks sideways, just like reverses and just I'm hops away. I'm so away like a velociraptor. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna be able to show it properly. It's I'll a gif. Oh, oh no. I'll oh, never yeah, forget. You're this. gonna have to share like your whole laptop screen or whatever that option is. Yeah. Oh, hang yeah. on. If I, I'll, can I I'll get you to um, yeah. pull it up? I, I'm allowing you to share screen. Get one on second. Why can't you do this? I got it. No, the way it downloaded mm. on my end. Is it working? <laughs> <laughs> what the that's, that's it. Stupid. That's literally it. And I'll never forget the scene because this is at the end of the movie. And I forgot. Is this like <laughs> Mars Attacks? No, no, no. This is like a uh, shitty it's called Arrival. 
called Arrival. I forgot to. It was an Arrival, the one with the aliens that spoke in like a ring. Yeah. I think so, but that, that was, was like a really good movie. Not, I, don't th- I don't remember that scene. <laughs> it's a deleted yeah. scene. <laughs> oh. yeah. When they, I just, re- I remember at the end of that scene, I appreciate sure he's like, "You go back to your alien race and you tell them we're not giving up or some shit." Yeah, that ain't Arrival. <laughs> 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 Velociraptor man, no. <laughs> oh no, it's Anyways. not arrival. Fuck, what's that movie called now? Yeah, I know it's not arrival. <laughs> God damn it. Hold on. Arrival is a really good movie. Mm-hmm. I'll find it. Don't worry. Just like I found the gift. Oh, arrival. I know arrival. Yeah. God, yeah, that's not arrival at all. <laughs> no, it's not. The hell are you talking about, Michael? Literally, that's what it says. Arrival. I thought you said Alien 90s gift. movie arrival. <laughs> Arrival came out like four or five years ago. Uh, no, I know. That's, 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 that's the title of the GIF. It says Arrival Alien GIF. Let's move so on. Anyway, let's just carry on with these panels. Yeah, go. go, go. Sucks. <laughs> just the whole. There's so many wonderful stories out there. And contrary to you, I really do love manga. Just the immediate <laughs> reaction, like get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> get out. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that. That's. <laughs> to be in that guy's shoes just like casually Whoa. browsing through prostitutes in a very public and open area <laughs> petite lolly with huge like, breasts kind yeah, of like like that guy he's not on the up and up her catchphrase is overly flowing cuteness for a hundred times the value yeah that's a lot of value that's a what kind of catchphrase is that? Catchphrase. Let's not believe it. <laughs> no. It's more like a motto than a catchphrase. Where the fuck is <laughs> let it rip? Do you think they have to say the catchphrase in each visit? If she shows up and she's flat chested, like, oh, one sec, hold on. Uh, 100 times. Super. Anyways, can I get my money up front? And then that's her paying the money. To be fair, he is very accepting of all body, body types, of all bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> oh. all right so yeah this is i mean we've talked about this panel a fair bit so yeah he shakes her hand anything. and then sniffs it right away come on yeah it's this panel oh yeah he's talking about like yeah i'd like to just sort of do like he's just like hanging around not doing anything with his life and then the woman who he's paying to have sex like oh that's nice getting to do what you want sort of thing before she is paid to have sex with somebody Oh, just an interesting little panel. Mm-hmm. And just skimmed over just to show how much this character doesn't give a shit about that. <laughs> oh. With all that being said, Mr. Robert, what scene stood out the most to you? Probably like that last one there, right near the end where it kind of like tidies everything up. And just like sort of shows like, yeah, this guy's kind of a piece of shit. In case you hadn't caught on at all any point earlier. Yeah. You think there is anything redeeming about this dude or that he might be an anti hero? Fuck you. Would you read anything else by this author? Yeah. I mean, I like I've heard a lot of good things about uh Good Night Poon Poon. Thinking about giving it a read. Me too. But I don't like know if my... I do it as Mon Club though, because if I like it, I'm gonna binge read it and I know I will. And just like with my manga reading habits. Probably not going to read it too quickly. And are there any leftover questions that you have about this manga? I mean, it kind of would be interesting to see like how the next six months of the main character's life sort of pans out. But I think it was left intentionally bl- intentionally vague for that reason. What is the final panel? One second, one second. Oh yeah, and then he gets nervous. Yeah, so yeah, what he I have is yeah. actually blaming other people. Fundamentally, at the end of it. And with that, we can just about conclude the week. Alyssa just has one thing to clarify with us. And now she's so smiling. Movie, Michael, Are we gonna get fucking copy written yeah. for this? It's on. It's on YouTube. I just posted it. It's called the the arrival. The it's, arrival. It's, yeah, and I just posted that clip. And I but again, if I was we like, show I'll never forget clip. the scene, whoever it was. And in my head, I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's Charlie Sheen was in it. Are Charlie Sheen is the other kid. You go back to your people. No, no, no. Just arrival alien boy scene. Alien boy scene is based on fact. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know about the title, but that's a clip that's I will uh, I'll leave it up to you whether or not we're gonna watch it. Yeah, let's show it after we end no, the recording. Yeah, we'll watch it afterwards. It has okay. nothing to do with the manga cast anymore. Just whoever's <laughs> watching people, just Google or go on YouTube and type in the arrival with Charlie Sheen, great movie. Ten out of ten. Yeah, not gonna do Is that. Is that great? You Shit. forgot what it was called. Shit movie. <laughs> okay. You can conclude now. And with that, we wrap up week 59. Next week is going to be a special. We never know what we're doing because I sincerely don't know what we're doing until typically an hour before we actually do it. That being said, today I have been joined by William. Yo. Michael. Uh, bye. Cece. Bye. Robert. Our co-host, Alyssa. And your host, as always, Jeff. Thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and um, say, say something nice. Give, give someone a compliment today. Compliment someone today. You smell good. You got it.